Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Blazed. So let me tell you guys a little tale. And this specific tale begins a few weeks back when I hit up one of my most ultra fabulous friends, Carrie Dayton, and simply asked her if she wanted to go on like a girl's vintage shopping day with me in Burbank. If you guys don't know, there is a strip of vintage stores in Burbank, California that I have been to only twice before. Once as a friend that took me there and once by myself. And I personally have always had a really positive experience finding treasures there. So since Carrie is new to the city, I wanted to invite her to come explore it. And that was kind of that. The plan was to go shopping, suss around, see what we could find, and just do our normal Normal thing but I would say maybe two or three days before our set date to go shopping Carrie uploaded something to her Instagram stories basically saying that she was really inspired and wanted to make a video on how she personally feels vintage shopping and thrift shopping in LA in a mid-sized body and when I saw that post on her Instagram story it stopped me in my damn tracks because I realized right then and there that when I asked her to go vintage shopping with me I never once thought about how that experience could be for her in a different body than my own so when she posted that I was literally like Honestly, I've never gone into these specific vintage stores looking for other sizes than my own and this might not be as fun of an experience for her. So as someone that is in like a thin straight size body, I don't struggle to find clothes in my size because our world is made to cater to people with my body type and that's not to say that I don't deal with my own insecurities. I've gone through, if you guys aren't new, recovery from an eating disorder but with that recovery, it brought me to a place of kind of seeing outside of myself, wanting to understand other people's experiences, especially the people that are really effing special to me like Carrie is. So after chatting about it a little we decided that we would just go see what was up see what the sizing is like and not paint like a picture perfect ribbon tied on top view of the experience if that's not how the experience is so long story not very short we hit the stores and we filmed the entire thing for you guys so if you're new to my channel what is up my name is Mace we talk about fashion we talk about thrifting we shimmy and shake and have a good time but we also celebrate ourselves and people for being exactly who they are so if you get down with that if you dig that hit subscribe down below and we are going to jump into a full day of vintage shopping with Carrie and I that dives a little deeper than just looking at cute ass things. We're looking at the sizes, we're trying on the shit, and we're doing it all. Enjoy! Okay guys, so I would say that like I just got with Carrie, but we've actually been like having lunch and chitting the chat and chatting the chit and having a damn good time. We are in Burbank. A lot of you guys probably haven't seen it. It was a video I did quite a few months back where I shopped the Burbank vintage stores, which is where we are right now. I watched um, She's a true fan. It's a true fan and a true friend. I'm a blazer and a blazer. <laughs> Carrie hasn't, you haven't been to these, right? Never. So we are going, we're filming a video for her channel too, which I will have linked down below, but where we're honestly just trying to like kind of see what kind of sizing we can find, what the sizing is like here. Here, basically, my experience shopping in LA vintage shops has been like few and far between because of the lack of size inclusivity. It's typically a lot of like curated stuff that's geared towards like one specific body type. I don't really think that there's a whole lot of like designer size 14 gems in these stores, but you never know. We might find something good. It's kind of gonna be like a little experiment that we do. We're today. just kind of figuring this out for you guys. I mean, for you guys that might become visiting here, you wanna know what's up. I feel like a lot of people like we've been talking about today, even on YouTube, don't talk a lot about the size inclusion when it comes to thrifting. Mm -hmm. So Carrie's gonna be talking about that a crap ton in her video, and we are gonna go in there. We are just gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what the fuck is up. We're gonna have a good time. Our first stop is Play Clothes. This is my personal favorite place. I've actually found a lot of really good accessories here before. A lot of my gold chains that I wear in a lot of my videos that you guys have asked about are from here, so. I'm excited. I mean, look at these mannequins, Carrie. They are ready for a good time. Like, she is, she's ready. We found this pair of pants, guys, and the sizing, a size teen. I don't know why, that just rubbed me the damn wrong way because I didn't know that teens were all this size. It's on this Disco Grandpa vest. I might have to try it on. Disco Grandpa vibes only. So this is my personal like favorite room in the entire store. I don't know why, I just feel like there's more wearable options over here on these racks, but I found two things. I think Carrie's found two things. A pair of pants. Possibly. She's gonna try it, we're gonna possibly. It they look, size 10. yeah, and they look, they look very vintage, that tag. And she's gotta try Good this tag. beautiful gown. Dead, dying, deceased over this green jacket. It's Ralph Lauren and it's beautiful, but more for spring. If it was spring, I would get this. 
Okay, so we just got into the fitting room. Carrie and I are having a, a naked moment together because look at the fitting rooms in this place. Like, it's just amazing. It's honestly part of the experience I feel like yes, of coming here. Definitely. It's like, Goodwill could never. Like, I'm sorry, like, this is the best. <laughs> you guys like know as thrifters that the fitting room situation is pretty up in the air at most places. <laughs> here you get the five-star experience. Literally hand put your stuff on racks for you. And we have all of these things to try on. We're gonna try stuff on. Let's do it. Let's do it. We just have a whole like room to try things on. I know this is gonna make me feel like Elton John, so <laughs> I'm Rocket Man. Guys, look at this top. It is Elton John. Okay, so no and no. You won't be a Girl Scout camp counselor? Well, it adds an extra layer because my shirt is bunched yeah. up underneath right here, so that's really cute. Also, yeah, just know I will not be your camp counselor this year, sorry. Yes, bad, just very bad. Okay, onward. These are not a size large, suck my ass. Maybe a youth large. I have no tits. <laughs> no! You can just show up and be like, hi, my parents paid for me. But honestly, your bow right? kind of goes, like, you look really cute right now. Very collegiate. And then there's, then there's me. Not really sure what this is, but my boobs definitely don't fill it out. We just came to the conclusion that I am Greg Brady aesthetic, Greg Brady vibes. I must say that's not surprising to me. Most of my life, I have related most to like male characters from that time period. Like I was always like Danny Zuko. I literally got so mad when we did a production of Grease and my teacher would only let me be Sandy and she wouldn't let me be Danny. And I was just like, in 2019, that wouldn't fly. Back in like 20, 2009, I can't even say it. 2009, that was a thing. Honestly, like, yeah. this queen has something going on over here and I didn't even see her in the corner. She is giving us body. Yeah. So we actually found two of these and we feel like this could be a potential, like, there's no size, there's no tag. It's just, this could maybe be a potential sort of the traveling zebra print sweater with shoulder pads. Also, Mary-Kate and Ashley circa 1996. Boobs. I look Wait. like a football player. What do I look like? I don't even. I'm a zebra and I'm a giraffe. I'm conflicting. We're like I'm the zebra girl and the knockoff cheetah, cheetah girls. We're the zebra girls. The zebra, <laughs> zebra girls, zebra sisters. Can't with these. Like it gave you just cleave. It just doesn't scream like vintage to me. It just still no. feels kind of modern and like. Yeah. I, this is actually pretty cute. So so far we're doing okay. I'm really kind of feeling this. Part. I think that the color's really cute on you, and mm -hmm. I love the wine vibes. Well, we love it's wine like we love wine, so we love wine <laughs> I feel like this has to come home with me. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get the items that we have chosen and then we're gonna go find a bathroom and hit up another store. You know what I'm saying? Woot woot. A woot a woot. Okay, so we are going into It's a Wrap, which concept is basically that it's all donated stuff and apparel and accessories like that from TV shows and movies from the studios around the area. So like, size-wise, I have no idea. I mean, let's think entertainment. They they don't love their size it's and inclusivity. Really slim from um, here. You mean that tiny, 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 tiny little top? <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> uh, but we are gonna head in there. We're just gonna like bop around and see, see what's up, see what we can find. Probably some hilarious things. So a lot of slip dresses. We just like walked into a massive rack. That's a great color. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Jane the Virgin, yes. We came across the full size clothing, which we can't be sure, but we think it's a little curated section of plus size options. Also. It's just riddled with maternity pants, but it is the first time I've seen a section like this in a thrift store, so like we could do better. Carrie, the wedding singer follows us. Okay, so I feel like we're like a little bit underwhelmed by the selection of things. Yeah, not cute, not cute. But I will say I think that comes from like a lot of, I mean, not all of our favorite TV shows, the clothes aren't that cute. So I guess that maybe makes sense. If you are looking for corporate clothes on a budget, yes, this actually would be a really good spot. Less for like kooky cool finds, more for like, this is a Rachel Zoe blazer that would originally be very expensive, but it's 39 and everything's 40% off, so yes. yeah. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I don't need another t-shirt, but it says I heart disco and I do heart disco. My vote is yes. Okay. 
so we just got out of uh it's a wrap and i think it's a cool place like i don't know like i want to say it's a cool place to go but i also want to say like there wasn't anything cool in there i would say i would give that a very low grade on the vintage store like vibe are we gonna try this one yeah let's try it junk for joy i'm seeing a lot of like crazy stuff like this Peter Pan-esque vest. We walked in and did find a size 12 and up section. And like Carrie said in her video, given it is a little section of the store. It's something I haven't seen in a vintage store, so. We're getting somewhere. Guys, I die for this. I wish it was my size. I think it's like a men's situation, but it's a really cool cow print. Doesn't even have to be male. Or no, honestly, G whoever. G strings for everyone. So this is definitely the kind of place to come for like a theme party. There's literally like crazy stuff everywhere. Look at this top, guys. Carrie, up here. Hi. Hey. Just me, just me and my boobs. Panties in the corner. But look at these shoes, guys. I'm obsessed. They're way too small, of course, but that is fashion. Okay, guys, so we just got back into the car and we just actually filmed our like haul. It was less of a haul, more of just like a rant mm -hmm. in Carrie's video, so I'll <laughs> have that link down below. So you guys saw we went to the three stores and like, honestly, I kind of having this weird thing where like this was a kind of a weird experience for me not in a bad way at all like in a good way like an experience that I needed to have and that I feel like a lot of people need to have going shopping with someone that's in a different body than you and doing it um, at these vintage stores truly showed me I mean I already knew that the sizes at these stores are so small I mean I see it when I go in there but it's also something you don't always recognize when you're just looking for yourself it is real you know people aren't being dramatic and they're not being silly and they're not being negative when and they're saying um, that these experiences aren't always the best for them. Like you've said, where are all the bigger clothes? Like when you think about thrifting they, and you think about go? vintage shopping and you think about humans in this world, we're donating clothes to these thrift stores. It's not just thin people donating. Where are the clothes going? Do they just not want them? Do they end up throwing them away? Do they give them elsewhere? And that was like a real conversation that we had when we were in one we of the, I think it was the first yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, now, Plus size people existed during these eras. Like plus size people have been around forever. forever. Since the beginning of time, so, like, like since the Victorian. Where are their clothes? Right, so where, where are, are their those clothes? clothes? Maybe not, not the Victorians, but like, you know, from like the 50s, 50s 60s, 70s, 70s, 80s, 90s, where are the clothes? When I'm you dead actually asked you. that question, I was like. I've never said that out loud before, but I have been know? thinking it, honestly, since I met you and just talking about it more and having these conversations, like, I'm just like, why is it that way? Well, especially because the average American woman is anywhere from a size 14, 16. I think it's now more, more leaning towards 16, 18. Totally. So that's the average. That's like the, the middle ground. So you know that there's plenty of people above um, as that, well mm -hmm. and a plenty of people below but it's like then where if, if the average woman is my size like a size 14 then why is my size what every thrift store carries caters to like just makes me want to be like okay we need to just have a big i want a big thrift closet sale that wasn't just like a couple people's closets that was like your guy you know you guys like people just normal people an inclusive closet sale that you know you can come and shop at and know that you're gonna find things in your size and not just the bottom of the barrel in your size not like what's left over i hate that like yeah. that makes me so mad and i feel like i sound stupid as someone no. in a thin body saying that that makes me mad because oh my god how that would make you feel i'm even just on such a small scale like i'm not even in a kind of designated plus size body like i'm in between both size yeah. realms so like for someone who's in a larger body it's so me, sad it's that you that, that it's like your body is considered oh we can't that we don't have that here i feel like i've seen in comments on her videos and just other friends of mine in general that are creators are plus size like the comments that are about like just be happy with what you got like blah 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 blah, blah. like don't be negative blah 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 blah, blah. don't search for the negative don't, whatever mm -hmm. like at least you found that but it's like to me like and carrie will show her first thing that if you want to show them the, yeah. what you got at this play cool store she shouldn't like she found a sweatshirt it's a cute sweatshirt Very cute. but that shouldn't be just like the option mm -hmm. at a place where like there's so many cool things i'm not down with the narrative of like you just have to accept what is out here for you yeah because because it's not all that's out there. There are plus size clothes floating around somewhere and we don't know where they are and we're gonna find them. We're gonna find them. We're going to find them. She found a cute sweatshirt. But all I'm saying is like, that shouldn't just be what she has to be happy with. Mm -hmm. I guess on a happier, God, we have not 
I made the happiest of my It's something that needs to be talked about though, you know? I just feel like it's something, especially in the thrift community, that needs to be flipped on its head because I just like want to be able to like pass the mic and be like, what's your experience? Because it's completely different than mine and it's completely valid and it's something you just don't think about. Oh, oh. okay. So, oh. <laughs> As I smack her in the face, later of a note, we'll show you the couple things that we got. Okay, yes. Go. So I got my Martha's Vineyard sweatshirt, which is actually Honestly, hella wear it cute. all the time. Like, it's super oh, cute. Oh, 100% I'll wear it. It's very cute. Like, I'm not mad about this. This is a cute sweatshirt. That's why I bought it. So I love it. It was, I think, $20 or no, $10. And it is a size XL. And it's like vintage Lee right here, which we love. Yeah. So yeah, cute it's berry cute. color. I mean, you guys saw this in the try on. You guys, I'm sure when you saw me try this on, knew I would have to get it. It's going to so be my good. Rocket Man vibe. This was expensive. This was like $30. Six dollars, but not terrible. This is, no, I thought it was gonna be sixty because mm -hmm. of their pricing. But I will say, like, I really like the curation of this place. It has a lot of like kind of more period time pieces, mm -hmm. and like this is just something I would not normally spend thirty six dollars on something from like the thrift or a vintage store. But this is something I will truly have for my entire life. Mm -hmm. I will keep this forever. I will pass it down to my whatever my child wants to identify as that, that they will get this. Fabulous, and then. I got, I completely forgot about oh, this yeah. shirt. At the second place that we went to, which was kind of a crock of BS. I didn't like that place. I'm not going there anymore. I, I've been there once, but like I found this sitting on a chair and like you guys know, I mean, I just it's had to so get good. it. It reminds me of something like Kelso on that 70s show over yeah. there. And like, he's a vibe, but also I heard disco and that's a vibe. And this was literally like $3. It, I think it was like $3. That whole store was 40% off, but mm -hmm. it was all ugly. So it didn't matter. Yeah, so it didn't really matter. Uh, but you did find one good thing. So but I found this, so it was a good thing. And then in the third place, I feel like we were just like looking around and like we were kind of like burnt out at that point. Yeah, we but that's so how it goes. Right. You know, I feel like it was really good for me to get this experience with you and really good for us to like open up this conversation amongst different body types about like just learning about different people's experiences. And I feel like this lit a fire under our booties it to did. like do something about it. When we were playing detective all day and now we want to like get these answers. Yeah, I want, I want the answers. To I want to know where the clothes are and I want to figure out a way to make it more accessible. And I feel like with the privilege that we have with what we do online, like that's something that I actually wanna dig into fucking doing. Yeah, so, good. so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know down below just your thoughts on all of this. Yeah. I mean, let's have a conversation. Let's open up this dialogue. I love you guys so much. Don't forget that you are a beautiful ass queen and no matter what, I will have Carrie's video linked down below, but seriously, you're fucking amazing. You're a beautiful ass queen, no matter what you look like, no matter what you're doing, you're a beautiful ass queen and we love you. Peace, bye.